Hello, welcome back. It's been a week, maybe. I don't know. I don't know when you guys uh, watch these videos. I'm just glad that you do. Uh, for those of you who are new today, uh, my name is Mr. Paul. I'm an artist and an art teacher. I've been doing it a long, 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 long time. But I'm glad you're here. And I assume that because you're here, you want to do an art project, maybe learn some things. Um, and so today what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a poster. You know, everybody does posters. I know that when I do posters in the schools, I collect them. And then uh, the, 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 the principal lets me hang them up all over the, the school. And usually they're about things uh, like bullying and being positive and things like that. And I think that's a great idea. I think it's something that we can all uh, get into, have fun with, and maybe learn something. Before we go into anything else, let's talk about the materials that we're gonna use today. Uh, as always, I try to keep it real simple, things that I would figure that most kids have around their house. Uh, white paper, you could even use copy paper from a copier if you've got a copier at home, pencils, erasers, maybe a pencil sharpener, um, some colors of some sort. Uh, you could use oil pastels or colored pencils or crayons, uh, even a watercolor. If you have a watercolor set, once you draw everything out, you might want to do that too. So anyway, um, I want everybody to gather that if you haven't already gathered them. And uh, we will begin. And today's subject matter, our inspiration, uh, we usually pick a word to make it, you know, our, our, our artwork about, is integrity. Well, let's talk about um, what integrity is. Before we start really getting into the art, uh, which we're going to do pretty quickly. I want to kind of talk about what that means. I bet you a lot of you <clears throat> may have heard of the word, but I don't, I don't know if you actually really know what it means. Somebody that has integrity always means what they say, and they say what they mean. And what I mean by that is that by telling the truth, uh, all the time, or trying to tell the truth all the time, people believe you, right? People can trust you. So when somebody is a person of uh, uh, that is considered having integrity, it means that your word is true. What's coming out of your mouth, what you tell people, they believe because over a, to a course of time, you don't lie, you don't cheat, you don't exaggerate the truth, you tell it like it is. Meaning, you say what you mean, and you mean what you say. And it's, to me, getting along with people, that's so, so important, is to be able to have people trust you. Right. And I think the older you get, especially when, guys, when you start getting into being a teenager, right, and you're wanting to go out with friends and do things away from your parents, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, it's so important that your parents can trust you. Because when, I, when my daughter was becoming a teenager and wanting to go out with friends and stuff like that. Not even dating, just going out with friends to the mall or the movie or skating and stuff like that. I could trust her to do what she said she was going to do. And I told her a long, long time ago back then that if I can't trust you, I ain't gonna let you do anything, right? If I can't trust you, that's gonna limit what I will allow you to do. And so it's really important. The, and I told her, the more freedom you want, that's fine, because that's something that young people want, but I gotta have to trust you. And so that's integrity, that there's a, you know, that 
if you tell the truth and people can depend on you telling the truth, you're a person of integrity. So today what we're going to do is we are going to just make a poster, right? And uh, there's all kinds of posters. And I thought that maybe what we would do is we would t use a certain style of design. And the one that I actually picked out, it's, it, it would fall in under the, uh, the umbrella of the design of what's called Art Deco. Art Deco was a style back in the 1920s, the 1930s, where everything was kind of geometrical, right? Not very many round objects, so to speak, but everything was kind of, you know, in straight lines kind of a thing. And I thought that might be kind of a fun thing to do. And so what I did is I started, as I, a lot of times, and I really, sometimes I tell you, don't you don't have to do the, the, the words, but this time because it's going to be a poster, I would really like for you to use the word. And make instead of making the word real small like we normally do, let's make it big because it's going to be part of the poster. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word re relatively large for the paper. And keep in mind, you have to get the whole uh, word on one line, so you have to be real careful on not making your letters too big because they all have to fit on there, right? There we go. Integrity. Almost running out of room. It's really do easily done in that regard, which is a drag, but I got it in there. Integrity. Now, you don't have to do exactly this design if you don't want. Um, the mo most important thing on a poster is trying to convey uh, what you're trying to say in the picture that you draw. And so, anyway, so I did something really kind of simple. I saw, if, if you noticed, I did a lot of outlining in the, in the see, I used a colored pencil and I used a marker. But uh, the first thing that I did is I kind of wanted to put a lid on the letter, so I thought it might be kind of cool to make a half of a sun, like a sunrise or a sunset. There we go. And then I made some rays, just to kind of, of course, make it look like it's shining. Sunrise. There we go. Another reason that I wanted to use this kind of this Art Deco style is that it's not sketchy, meaning it is really bold. The images are real strong looking. I was trying to use not necessarily the subject matter, but the strength of the shapes themselves kind of lends itself to being strong and straightforward like somebody that has integrity, right? So that's kind of the reason that I did that. And again, you don't have to do this. You could, in fact, you can start with this and then you could add more if you want to. That'd be cool, you know? I do want you to use your imagination. I never want my, the kids that I work with just to do, okay, you've got to do it just like this. I don't want you to do that. I want you to put your own interpretation into really everything that we do together, right? Uh, so, um, 
once I got my son, I decided that I wanted to um, uh, do something really big and bold. Uh, so the next thing that I did is I did this kind of stylized cloud, and I made two of them, a small one, and then I made a larger one like that. Um, and then that kind of dictated, kind of made me think of something that I really wanted to do on the inside. And of course, lightning bolts are really, really, they were really, really popular um, back during the Art Deco style back, you know, a hundred years ago kind of a thing. And so I kind of wanted to do that as well. Um, you know that there is a long, long history of artists painting and sculpting people of integrity. Now, whether or not they really were, we don't know. But all the statues of kings and queens and emperors and presidents and, and uh, uh, saints, I mean, all of this artwork, what the artist tried to do is create a work of art that represented and kind of looked like the people they were doing portraits for. But mostly they wanted to make them look even better probably than they really were, if you know what I mean, right? It was like they made them look phenomenally strong and, and, and good and righteous. And, and so uh, really, uh, artists have been really, really doing that for hundreds and hundreds of years. And it's really only been in the last 50 or 60 years. Artists are drawing and painting and sculpting portraits that make those people real and more realistic not just by the way they look but what kind of person they really are and I think I like that better some of the some of the uh, people uh, I mean some of the artists now that are are creating works that are portraits uh, they are uh, doing some, some phenomenal um, work showing like a regular person, not a king or a queen, but a regular person as a good, decent person of integrity. And I think it's about time. Because I bet you a lot of you out there, a lot of you young people out there that are listening to me right now, you are people of integrity or at least you try to. Sometimes it's kind of hard to always be on point and always tell the truth. But trying is the best. And you're going to learn as you get a little older how important integrity really is. So, um, I've got my words. I've started my design. Um, I don't know where you are. I don't know if you're continuing to do this right now or you're going to do this a little later. That's fine. Either way, if you want to do it a little later so you can like really get into it and not listen to me babble on and on and on, that would be cool too. But anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, take a short break. I'll be back with part two of our integrity poster. Um, if you haven't gotten all of your art supplies uh, gathered up, this would be a really good time to, to get them, uh, you know, available for you. So when we come back, we can really get into the art and uh, really kind of get these things done. So um, anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Um, so I'll catch you on the other side.